Hi beautiful people, I'm Sophie and welcome to the channel. Today's class is a free movement yoga flow. In this class, I invite you to really enjoy that sense of freedom and expansion and energy as you move. When you're ready, we'll start in a standing position on the mat. We're starting with a Tai Chi warm up, so just set the feet comfortably wide and just check that the knees are in line with the second and third toes. From there, the spine is long and just open, just gently, just across the chest. Let's sweep the arms to the side. Soft block to me, other side. Again, soft block, a little faster this time, sweep soft block as I said just really enjoy that sense of freedom in your movement and down last one from there bring the feet hip width apart lifting nice and high forward fold exhale release and again pressing nice and high fold forward we've got two more Press, you can always come up on the balls of the feet to test the balance. Exhale to fold. Inhale to lift. Exhale to fold. Step the feet nice and wide. We sweep side to side, slow to faster. Like a moving meditation, nice and slow to faster. Just enjoy the beautiful movement. And again, slow too quick eye gaze follows the hand last one nice and slow too quick back to our first movement this time other side sweeping high soft block really can you come lower in those legs other side sweeping high soft block a little faster lift and lower lift and lower sweep and down keep the breath nice and easy and down feet hip width apart pressing nice and high lift exhale we inhale and exhale inhale lift high on the balls of the feet if that's for you forward fold last one lifting nice and high and release step the feet wide side to side nice and slow too quick and slow just gliding side to side it's like your second hand is just trailing through the river too quick last one and too quick lovely from there step the feet together moon salutation in this one really feel that full length of each posture so we reach nice and high from there side bend and come tall the other way back through the center Step the feet nice and wide, reach the arms up high, lengthen out, then draw the energy down into your center. From there, triangle pose. Toes turn, drop the hip, reach the arm, rotate. From there, bring the hand down, bring the right knee down to the mat, and then lift the arms high. Place the hands down, bring the back foot in a little. So this right leg, toes are slightly turned out, square off the hips, and then just find that gentle stretch through the hamstring. You can always come a little higher if that's better. From there, Skandasana, turning to face me. Either high Skandasana, if that's enough, or if you've got the range, coming down to low Skandasana. Wherever you are, really trying to open through those inner thighs. Walking the hands across, transferring to the other side of the mat. And then bringing the hands down, bring the knee down. Let's find that kneeling lunge. Baby back bend here. 
hands come down, bring, bring the foot back foot in a little, so that left leg, square off the hips, find the pyramid pose on this side, and that stretch through the back of the thigh. Keeping it nice and gentle, which is warming up through the body. Then from there, triangle pose. You might like to reset the feet a little, then reach the arms, one to the sky, one down towards the earth. Sweep the arm wide, lift nice and tall, goddess pose, sinking low in the legs. That's it, step the feet together, lift high once again. Just focusing on really warming up the body, mobilizing the joints, finding a little more range of movement. Bring the hands down to prayer at heart center. Let's tight do the other side, lift nice and tall, side bend. Back through center, core drawing in, lift nice and tall, length through the spine, other side. Come back through center, step the feet nice and wide, lift high, sink low, goddess pose. Can you come a little lower in your legs this time? That's it, build some strength through the legs. Triangle, lengthen the arms out, drop the hip, reach the arms, rotate. Eye gaze can be to the mat, to the front, or high to the top fingertips. Bring the left hand down, Bring the knee down, lift the arms high, baby back bend. Hands come down, pyramid pose. Step that back foot in a little, toes are slightly turned out. Enjoy that stretch through the hamstring. See if you can find a little more length this time. And then turning to face me, High Skandasana, or again, if you're ready for it, Low Skandasana. Really opening up through the legs here. Feel that stretch through the inner seams of the legs. Transferring the weight across. If you want to work a little harder through the legs, keep the hands lifted off. And find the stretch on the other side. That's it, hands come down. Let's take the kneeling lunge. Lift the arms nice and high, baby back bend. Hands come down, step the back foot in, pyramid pose. Deep breaths. Letting the body know it's okay to relax, it's okay to stretch and lengthen. And come to triangle, reset the feet as, as you need, then reach the arms away from each other. enjoying that sense of freedom and energy in your movement. Reach the arm wide, lift nice and tall, sink low in the legs, last goddess pose. Then let's step the feet together, lift nice and tall, side bend. Come back through centre, other side. Lift nice and tall once again, bring the hands down to prayer at heart centre. Turn to the top of your mat. Now we'll take sun salutations. Lifting the arms high, inhale. We're warm, so we should be able to move freely. Exhale, forward fold. Stepping back with the right, come to your lunge. Then from there, straight to downward facing dog. From here, rolling through the spine, find your high plank. Bring the knees down for the first round. Low plank, elbows in. Come to your cobra or upward facing dog if your back is ready. And then press back, exhale, downward facing dog. We're going to take wild thing. So for wild thing, we lift the right leg high behind you, bend the right knee, and then lower it down behind you, lifting the right hand off. If you can come straight to wild thing, that's fine. If you just wanna take a variation, just place the right foot behind you and come to a side bend. Really press that supporting hand into the mat as that's the joint that's under load. If you're coming to wild thing, chest lifts high to the ceiling, really press the shoulder blades through, open through the heart, 
Let's come back. Bring the right hand down to the mat. Lift the right leg high behind you. Then draw the knee through, scoop through the belly, place the foot down. Bring the left knee down. Let's take a twist. Reach that right arm high. Wrap it behind you as you really drive those hips through so you get that beautiful stretch through the front of the left hip and open through that right shoulder. Deep breath there. Really good to do some opening through the shoulders if you sit at a desk. Great for our posture. Lift the arm high, place it down, untuck the back toes, then bring the left leg to meet the right, rolling all the way up through the spine. Lift the arms nice and high, folding forward, exhale, bow to the earth, stepping back with the left, straight to your downward facing dog, exhale here, heels reaching down towards the earth, roll through the spine, knees or toes this time, lowering down, elbows in, let's build some upper body strength here, cobra or upward facing dog if you're ready. Press back, downward facing dog. Lifting the left leg high behind you. Bend the knee and then from there, left hand comes off. Remember your options. Bringing the left toes down, reaching the arm high, open through the chest. Really press that right hand into the mat to support you. Coming back, bringing the left hand down. Can you lengthen out through that left leg once again? Draw the knee in, scoop through the belly, place the foot down, bring the right knee down. Let's take the twist. Lifting the left arm high, wrap it behind you, open through that shoulder. Reaching high once again, hand comes down, untuck the toes, step the foot in. Rolling up through the spine. Let's take that once again. Now we know we're going. Bring in the breath. Inhale, exhale. Stepping back, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Rolling through the spine, inhale. Lower down, exhale. Cobra or upward facing dog, inhale. I would say, let me hear that breath. I don't think I will, but I'm imagining, let me hear that breath. Press back, downward facing dog. Wild thing, lift the leg high. Keep breathing. Inhale, find your wild thing. Choose your option, wherever you feel is right for you today. Then from there, hand comes down. Lift the leg, the right leg high behind you once again. Tiger curl it through. Bring the foot down. Bring the left knee down, reach the arm high. Wrap it behind you, open through the shoulder, open through the chest. Breathe. Lifting high, place the hand down, untuck the left toes, step the foot in, roll up through the spine. Lifting high once again. Last side, exhale, forward fold. Stepping back with the left. Stepping back, downward facing dog. Heels down towards the earth here. Reach the left leg high. Drop the left knee, lower the foot down. Left hand comes off. Find your option of wild thing, the full expression of your posture today. Go for it. Bring the hand down, lift the leg behind you. Draw the knee through, place the foot down, bring the right knee down. Let's take the twist. Arm lifts, wrap it behind you. Lift high once again, hand comes down, untuck the toes, step the foot in, roll up through the spine. Moving on, let's find a little more strength. We're coming to a warrior sequence. Set the feet hip width apart or you can keep them together. Sink the butt nice and low so we get strength through the legs. Lift the arms high. Three breaths here, inhale, exhale. 
On the inhale, can you lengthen out through the arms, right through the fingertips? On the exhale, can you sink lower into your chair? One more inhale. Stay strong, determined. Exhale. Right foot steps back. Just check that your feet aren't on a tightrope. It's like train tracks. So they're in line with your hips, either side. Then sink low, nice and strong in your warrior today. Then from there, coming to warrior two, lower the arms, lower into those legs a little more. Let's sweep the arms. Back arm comes to meet the front one. Draw the fingertips across the arm, across the chest, like you're pulling a bow and arrow. And again, fingertips sweep, draw back. Reverse warrior, turn the palm, lift. Lower the hands down, and from here, we're going to come to our side plank. So step the feet back, bring the right hand into the center of the mat in line with the feet. Option here is to bring the underneath knee down, feet together, or if it's in your practice, bring the left toes to the right knee. Hold there, find your focus. Bring the hands down, bring the knees down. Let's just walk the feet straight up towards the hands. Feet together or hip width apart, we come back to our chair pose. Sink the butt nice and low, lift the arms high. Three breaths here, inhale, exhale. Let me see you come a little lower in your chair pose. Inhale and exhale. Keep those front ribs drawing in. And then coming to warrior one, step the foot back, just check it's not a tight rope. It's like train tracks. Sink low in the legs. Really lengthen out through the torso, through the arms. And then let's come to warrior two. Settle in there, nice and strong. Back fingertips come to meet the front ones. Draw the hand across the arm, across the chest. Strength and softness at the same time here. And across the chest, across the... Open out through the arm. Reverse warrior, turn the palm, lift. Cut all the hands, come through your high plank. We're coming to side plank. Take your option. So left hand comes into the center of the mat. Place the knee down or place the feet together or place the toe to the knee. Really lift up through that underneath hip. And then from there, bring the hands down. Walk the feet up towards the top of the mat. Hang forward in ragdoll for a moment. Give the head a shake. And then rolling up through the spine. Beautiful. From here, just a couple of standing balances. I will face this way for the first first round. What we're going to do today, bring the feet together, we'll lift the arms up nice and high and then from there lift the right leg out in front. Hold there for a moment, strength through the leg, strength through the core, then bring the toe to the knee and from here I want you to come to tree pose. So you're going to use your external rotators on the right side to open the knee out and then option is bring the toe down towards the mat or the calf, or use the, uh, place the hand on the ankle, bring it in towards the inner thigh, press that working foot against the supporting leg, and then bring the hands down to prayer at heart center. And hold here, three breaths. After all that movement, let's find some inner stillness. Beautiful. Lower down, let's take the other side. Lift the left leg high. Hold there a moment. And then draw the foot in towards the knee. And from here we come to tree. Use your glutes or your external rotators to open the leg out and then find the foot position that works for you. Settle in, feeling strong and graceful in your tree pose. Find that inner stillness.
Beautiful. Release. I'll just turn to face you. Next, we're going to lengthen out through the leg. We'll take the arms wide as well. So let's take the leg to the side, arms to the side. Then bring the leg in, tree pose once again. Let's keep the arms high this time. You can always bring the foot up a little higher, whatever foot position feels right for you. And then hold there once again, enjoying that wide V through the arms, opening through the chest, feeling strong, grounded, yet tall and lifted. Bring the hands through prayer at heart center, lower down, last side. Standing strongly on the leg, letting that really root you into the earth. Lift the leg to the side, arms sweep wide, bring the leg in, and again, find the foot position that works for you. Arms in a wide V. Focus on that fixed point in front of you. And then bring the hands down through prayer at heart center, bring the foot down. Beautiful work, beautiful focus. Come to the top of the mat, just rolling forward through the spine. We're coming down towards the earth now. Just come down to a kneeling position. Let's just circle the wrists a little. We are going to take crow pose today. I'll go through the different levels and then just see where you're feeling at today, what feels right for you. If remember, sometimes if you've had a busy or stressful week or you've been unwell, you might need to take the, the, the less advanced option and that's okay. It's all about where you're at at any day, at any point in time. From there, so crow pose, level one. Everyone spread the fingers nice and wide, shoulder width apart. And then from there, coming up high on the balls of the feet. Walk the feet in towards the hands. And then from here, really drawing in through the belly, make sure that the arms are bent like you're in your low plank. From here, you wanna just bring, either stay right here and just focus on just really building that strength through the arms and through the shoulders. Or next option here is to make sure that you set your gaze a little in front of you on the mat and then draw the knees to the back of the elbows, lift one foot off, place it down, lift the other foot off. After that, another really great option of crow pose is to actually just wrap the knees around the arms and then try and lift off. If you're coming to full crow and you might be there already, place the knees on the back of the elbows, lift one foot off, lift the other foot off. Wherever you are, wherever you are let's hold for three breaths. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Last one. Inhale and exhale. Calming out of it. Give the wrist a shake. Beautiful. Then from there, let's come into some of our stretches. We'll start with a lizard lunge. Bring the right leg forward. Heel toe the foot a little bit wider. You'll find that stretch through the inner thigh and through the left hip flexor. Fingertips down towards the mat or come lower if that's for you. And then just really release, relax into the posture. If you're feeling like you'd like a more advanced option today, reach the right arm high, thread the hand through, side of the shoulder and side of the head are coming down towards the earth. Wherever you are, deep breaths. Reaching nice and high, hand comes down, let's st go straight to the other side. Left leg comes forward, either on the fingertips or drop down to the forearms. Or once again, if you're taking the more advanced option, you know where to go. And rather than holding on, see if you can find that sense of release. The body knows where to go. Reaching nice and high, 
place the hand down and then from there we're going to come to a chest stretch coming right down onto your belly place the right hand out at a 90 degree angle then from there left hand presses into the mat bring the left leg over behind you and you want to feel the inside of the right shoulder pressing down onto the mat Lovely. It's nice to start to unwind. Let the heart rate slow down. Bring the left hand to a 90 degree angle, right hand pressing down onto the mat. Left, uh, sorry, left arm I should say. Bring the right leg over. Find the stretch there. Deep breaths. And release, coming out of it, pressing yourself up. Let's just come and lay straight down onto the mat for some more stretches. Keeping the right foot flat on the mat or lengthen it long, if that's better for you, whatever works for your body, let's come into a hamstring stretch. Take the back of the thigh or the calf or the foot, draw the leg down towards you. Just breathe there. Seeing how your hamstrings feel today. Giving them a bit of a stretch. No tension through the shoulders, through the neck. And then taking the leg wide, finding a little more of a stretch through the inner seam of the right leg. down let's take the other side stretching the left leg high right foot flat on the mat or extending it long and remembering that each side might feel a little bit different once again just checking there's no tension in the face or in the upper body often it, it sort of creeps up there again in a thigh stretch and then release the leg let's come into a twist right toes to the left knee taking the knee across open up through the arm if it feels good turn the head And coming back, let's take the other side, left toes to the right knee, take the knee across, open out through the left arm, turn the head. And coming back through center, taking any posture that works for you at the end of the class. I'm going to take happy baby as I find that's a really nice one for the end of class. Either hands behind the knees, take the lower legs or piece fingers to the big toes, draw the knees down towards you and maybe just a gentle rock side to side, massaging the lower back on the mat. Deep breaths there. Just relax. 
And when you're ready, let's come to Shavasana. You might like to extend the legs long. I'm going to take extended butterfly today. Soles of the feet together, knees wide. Reach the arms overhead. Just settle in there. Letting the whole body relax. The muscles, the bones, the organs through the body. Brain, heart, lungs, belly. Thank you so much for the beautiful class today, everyone. I will leave you here today and I'll see you again soon. Namaste. Thank you for joining me for class. Remember to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe and press notifications so you're notified when classes come out each week.